I recall the phone call from Adam last summer well. Eric, I've kind of been dating this girl Jess for a while. She's amazing. She's gorgeous, forces me to work out, and cooks all this great healthy food. For those of you who don't know Jessica that well, she may seem quiet, but she is the most undercover funny person you have ever met. <laughs> she has the best one-liners, and they come out of nowhere. Adam is one of the most loyal, hardworking, determined, dependable, and calm-natured guys I know. I've never seen him lose his temper or even get stressed out. We've all been best friends with Jessica for the past 16 years. We've been through the hard times, the good times, the cute stages, the hideous awkward stages, <laughs> and <laughs> through the prom nights out to the nights in with Roger's famous pizza and Leslie's late night talks. Say hello in this cafe, say you will. of Jessica is watching her fall in love. When I first met Adam, I knew he was handsome. He was smart, witty, simply a good person. And nowadays that means he's probably in a relationship. So I was elated to learn that he was single. So I said, let's put these two together. I know, Jess and Adam, that you were taking a chance on me and setting you two up. And I'm so glad that we all went on this journey together. When I look at you two, Adam and Jess, I see friendship, love, truth, and most of all, happiness. Jessica and Adam, looking out into this room, we realize how lucky you are to have such great role models in your life. From the loving relationships between your parents, grandparents, and siblings, they have showed you what a loving and beautiful relationship should be. Jess, my beautiful bride. Sitting here tonight watching this video, it's clear and clear to me that we were truly meant to be together. From the moment I first met you, I knew you were so special. And I've enjoyed every single moment we spent together since. Every day when I wake up next to you, I'm even more and more grateful to have you in my life. I love you so very much, and I cannot wait to marry you tomorrow. Dear Adam, once upon a time, a girl from Sin City met a boy from Twin City. Two very different cities, yet two very similar people. It's been 15 months from meeting to marriage, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Wherever you go, I will go. Whatever you dream, we'll dream it together. Say you will. Jess, getting to know you over the last year has made me even more excited for tonight. Coming from a family of brothers, I am overjoyed to finally have my sister, Adam. Watching that amazing video that Mom put together, I recounted our childhood and all the wonderful memories we shared. One of the qualities I've always admired about you the most is your ability to balance your life. And with it just at your side, I believe you have and continue to bring out the very best in each other. Adam, it is no secret that you are my man crush. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot, trap, and skeet because of you. I relentlessly practice my golf swing in a desperate attempt to one day beat your score. And I read The Economist and books about business so I can under better understand your conversations about bifurcations of assignment capsules while obtaining capital for exotic finance vehicles. And while your intelligence is uncanny, your greatest feature, the one that I admire the most, is how you treat my little sister. One moment in time, one most incredible moment that every parent dreams of. From the moment a child is placed in his or her loving arms, we nurture, we protect, we guide, we hope, we dream. And most of all, we hope and pray our children will be healthy, happy, and safe. And that his or her hopes and dreams will be fulfilled. Tonight is one of those moments in time. Now, as 
a father handing over his daughter. The most important thing to feel and to have is to know that she's a good and loving man. That she's going to be with a man who will be with her, share with her, look out for her, and care for her. August 26, 2012 represents the beginning of our journey as a team, as best friends, as husband and wife. Today I become Jessica Simon Glick. Glick means luck, and as I stand here, I do feel like the luckiest girl in the world, like a princess living her fairy tale. I vow to be the best spouse I can be. Every day I will strive to be better to think better, to see better, to talk better, to be my best. As we stand here surrounded by friends and family, all I can think is how much I love you. I love your idea of a perfect Saturday night. I love your family and the values you were raised with. I love your passion for health and fitness. I love the way you sneeze. I love that most of the time when you say, Adam, we have to talk, it's followed by, you really need a haircut. I love your endless patience and understanding. I love you and I love the idea of you, because to me, you're my idea of perfect. Flanked by those magnificent, upright palm trees soaring toward the sky, you have committed yourself to Adam and he to you for the special qualities each sees in one another. Adam gives you strength as you stand upright in your decisions. Adam encourages your righteousness. Adam brings out the grace and beauty that lies within you as well as out. Together, your strength and goodness will impact in the best and most meaningful ways those whose lives you touch, which has been the legacy handed down to you from your great-grandparents and your grandparents. So Jess, as one partner of Adams to another, (laughs) I've got to tell you, you did good, girl. Uh, He's good in the good times, he's great in the bad times, and I can't think of a better person to celebrate the joys of life with. While there are no absolutes in life, it's fair to say that some bets are safer than others. Well, I think you should rest easy tonight because the smart smart money's on YouTube. She's met this guy who we get a chance to meet very shortly after their first date. I mean, within, within a week of of their first date and so we can't wait to see you know what's he what's he like so he actually came over for a for a dinner party you know as we we're wrapping up from the dinner party and jess and adam had left uh, julie and i were you know, doing some dishes and what have you and and julie said I, this this could be the one <laughs> and uh you know i knew it was <laughs> Because I saw that, I'm sorry, God, I saw that look in Jessica's eye, that, like decisiveness, you know, that she had decided that this was it. And, you know, I haven't known Adam very long, but uh, come, you know, at the time, now, now that I have known him for a little bit, you know, I see that he's got the same, that decisive look in his eye. And I think the two, and knew, and knew early on that, that, they were the ones for each other. Um, in my short life, I've come to learn that happiness is only real when it's shared. Uh, and I'm just so glad that Adam and Jess, y'all found each other, and y'all will be able to share and all the happy memories that you will create together. Uh, Jess, we're so excited to welcome you and your family into ours. Jess, I cannot begin to tell you how excited we are to have you become a part of our family. Together as you and Adam build your life together in Texarkana, remember to always make time for each other. And as your father-in-law or father, I will always be there for you. Adam, 
You are one of the most kind and calm people I know. You treat our sister like a princess, and I know she's in the best hands with you. Older sisters are a protective bunch, and we could not have chosen a more perfect match for our little Jess. I can't believe it. I went from no brothers to two in just under a year. Adam, I love you so much, even though you're taking my neighbor to a new wild frontier. I said it at a wedding a year ago, and it didn't seem to do any good. Perhaps they didn't get it. Maybe I was misunderstood. So I will say it again. It wasn't until this moment I ever felt like I had a second brother. Now come on already, my babies need cousins. Make my little sister a mother. You know you make me wanna shout Kick my heels up and shout Here's to you as good as you are, here's to me as bad as I am, but as good as you are and as bad as I am, I'm as good as you are as bad as I am. <laughs> you love Adam, and he loves you, and that's enough for me. All my love to you, Adam and Jesse, good luck. And I wish you lots of lots of good things to come. <laughs> I hope with all my heart the Texarkana will be for you what Buffalo has been for me. My wish for you is that life becomes all you want it to, that your dreams stay big, your worries small, you never need to carry more than you can hold. And when you're out there getting to where you want to be, you find your love for one another grows and grows because you want the same things too. And this is my wish. It is actually my prayer for you. I love you both. When I'm around you, I feel safer, calmer, and happier. I am a better version of myself. Small town or big town, I have you and you have me. And we will live happily ever after. I love you with all my heart. <laughs>